lovely weather. A warm welcome to Selhurst Park here in London. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary. And alongside me is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Crystal Palace versus Everton. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Well, whenever you're trying to defend against Wilfried Zaha, quite simply, you've got to be on your toes. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him today? Defenders, Derek, hate playing against players with pace, and he's got plenty of pace to run in behind. He does it cleverly. He comes short, then spins in behind, and then he's 1v1 against the goalkeeper, and he usually finishes it off. Well, this is the team Crystal Palace have picked. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. And here's how Everton line up. Jordan Pickford is the keeper. Luca Digne plays with Seamus Coleman in the fullback positions. Alan starts alongside Abdoulaye Doucoure in central midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And the game begins. Mitchell. At times they make passing look easy. Gallagher. Shot attempted. Well, really fine goalkeeping. Good diving stop. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, fantastic reflex action. And well, they've given him too much space. Oh, it's narrowly wide. So unlucky. Alan. Richarlison. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Oh, that's a really good run. It might still be problematic. And pull back. Can he put them in front? Couldn't quite hang on. Townsend. Giving it a try. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. And he's fired over the corner. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Godfrey. On the ball, Richarlison. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly. He gets beyond his marker and he keeps his composure. It's an excellent finish. And the action underway again. The onus very much on Palace to find a response now. Joel Ward. Ezzy. This looks more than decent. They just couldn't stay in front. And now this match is all square. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And when he gets onto it, he holds off the challenge, keeps his balance and makes good contact with the ball. That's a top-class finish. 
So in business once more on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. One, one. This attack looks highly promising. Calvert-Lewin. Ducouré. Oh, nice work to get past his opponent. And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. But you do have to ask questions of the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. So back playing once more, and it's Everton with the lead. Regain possession. Well, as those stats show us, Everton just haven't controlled the possession, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Lost possession. Oh, a nice looking pass. And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. Ducouré. On the ball, Richarlison. Bit wasteful from Everson. Gallagher. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. And winning it back. And there it is, the half-time whistle. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Alan. Gallagher. Zaha. What an important piece of defending. And foul it is then. This to give them the advantage. And a timely penalty save. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? <laughs> and the play stop. They will make the change now. <laughs> Who's going to get on the end of it? It hasn't come to very much. And he cuts inside. Making sure it didn't get past him. And breaking at pace with Menace. Do they have the guile to up and up the defence? Richarlison. Digne. Townsend, can he give them the advantage? Flinging himself at it, the keeper. But he's gone short with it. Doing well to keep possession. Thirty minutes left for play. Fruitful looking attack. Just what they were hoping for. Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power. The keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. Three 
two it is. Who would have predicted that before a ball was kicked? Townsend. And now Dominic Carbert Lewin. Fractionally offside. Anderson. Schlup. Defensive efficiency personified. Could be a chance to break here. But really sticking to the task defensively. How can he take them on and beat them? Ducouré. Dinia. And reading it absolute. And will it be the leveller? And it goes! The leveller! Thrilling stuff here. Well, as you can see, it was a fairly simple finish in the end. But you still have to be in the right place. Keep your composure and finish it off. And that's exactly what he did. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Substitution for Crystal Palace. Coming off the pitch, number two, Joel Ward. Kuyate. Number five, James Tompkins. Kuyate. Conor Gallagher. Well, a goal at this stage could be... Just... Well, there is a fine goalkeeper in action. Well, you're absolutely right. That's great goalkeeping at a very important time. And he stopped them in their tracks. Well, Everton will probably get one more big chance to win this game. And don't these fans know it? Just listen to this noise. It's incredible. Ducouré, Calvert Lewin. He might yet finish. Pulls it back. Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left, surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here. Well, let's have another look at this, because he does really well to pick the right pass here. And the finish is really good. Low and hard beyond the goalkeeper. It's a lovely goal all round. Well, how about this? 4-3. We are going to have two additional minutes. We're getting it forward, but they need an equaliser. Now a decent position. That could cost them. And the referee blows for full time. It has gone awry.